or this winter hasn't gone as well as I'd planned it to go. Uh, I started off on a little three acre lake near home and things just didn't happen like I thought they would do. I've got three bikes on there all winter, which swans coming down to land. I had three bikes on there all winter and, and that was about it. I landed one fish. Um, nothing else really happened. Nobody else got any any bites on all the time I was there. So then I started fishing another little lake well, just up the track here on, the, on this on this complex down in the Neen Valley. And um, that didn't really materialise like I thought it would do either. You know it's got some sort of some really nice fish in it but it is fairly low stocked. So I probably made a mistake by fishing you know a low stock lake rather than going somewhere with a few more fish in it that, that were actually moving around. So all in all didn't go fantastically well, so I think next year I'll re-evaluate things and, and fish waters with, with, with a bit of winter form and a, and a few more fish in it and uh, see if I can bag a few more fish, but uh, things aren't going too bad at the minute. Um, three weeks ago I went down to uh, Linear doing a feature for Carpology. It was a under the surface feature, very very interesting actually. Uh, we sent a diver out to, to go and have a look at the rigs and go and have a look at the swim house fishing to see if I'd, I'd got my plumbing right and got my marker and work right and it was, it was a very interesting feature. I have, to, I have to get that, I think it's in the May edition. I didn't get away from that feature until late, you know, mainly because it was a really misty day and the, the light levels were, were a bit rubbish for, for taking underwater pictures. So uh, the feature didn't finish till half past four in the afternoon, which is which didn't leave me any time to, to get up to here, which is my Neen Valley Syndicate. So I ended up staying down Linney for two nights on, on Manor. Very nice little complex. I think I, I think I might spend a bit more time on there uh, next winter. Um, <clears throat> didn't get any carp, unfortunately. I got four tench, a nice, nice size tench, but um, yeah, no, no, no carp. But I have had a bit of action this session. Yesterday morning, just before dawn, the rod ripped off. It was my middle rod sitting out there now. It just tore off. Uh, so I knew it was a carp straight away. None of these little finicky tension bites or, or anything like that. Straight in the waders, jumps in the water, bends into it. It was in the weed for a little while, but I managed to, managed to get it all moving again. Got it out, banked it, looked in the net. I thought, yeah, that's a good one. That looks like a very good fish. And I estimated about 28, 29 pounds just looking at it. Then I, I flipped it and rolled it onto its... Uh, rolled it onto its front in the water and it sat normally in the water and just saw the width across its back and thought, no, that's, that's, that's a decent fish, that's a good 30. And uh, yeah, it was, it was an absolute stunner as you, as you can see now. It's not like a short, chunky fish, but the, the width across its back was, was fantastic, so I was really pleased. 34 pounds and 8 ounces, so a cracking start for the year for me and uh, finally get, up, get off the mark. Um, after that, I got the rod back out there, got another take. Tench, six pound tench, unfortunately, and I've just done another tench this morning, so not quite sure what to do at the minute. I don't think anybody else is catching on the lake, but I'm not sure how many fish are actually down here. I'm just in this little bay on the, on, on the end of the lake, and uh, I'm not sure if the fish are still here or, or they've moved off, they've gone back into the middle part of the lake, or I don't know. Uh, I've just seen a couple of a couple of movements out there, just on the left hand side of the next swim. Could have been carp, could have been tension, I'm not sure. I didn't actually, didn't actually catch it, but they moved a fair bit of water, so I thought, I think there might be one or two carp still knocking around. Um, when, I, when I turned up on the first day, it was red light, it was 20 degrees, and the fish were actually just moving around and just sticking the back out of the water, which is, which is nice to see in March, especially after, uh, you know, after the still winter we've had. Um, so I don't know, I don't know whether I'm going to stay here today, for tonight, or, or move on and uh, try somewhere else, but um, we shall see. Right now, here's the rig that I caught the 34 common on. As you can see, it's my variation of the snowman. Well, I call it the reverse snowman. So you've got a bottom bait there, uh, a little pop-up there, and then obviously your hook and your hook length. So the pop-up will just sit just nice off the deck like that and be balanced on two pivot points by the hook and the bottom bait. I just find it makes a little bit of difference. I, I think it's difficult for the fish to get rid of. Um, you know, a lot of people use a standard snowman rig. A lot of fish are caught on that. I just think that's just something a little bit different that the fish aren't probably quite used to. Uh, the rig itself is, is dead simple, it's made up of, um, well I've got a 15 pound end trap there but that's actually 20 pound. Uh, got a bit of shrink tube to help kick it around and I'm using a, a size 6 cord, a captor wide gate hook. As you can see they're all there in the packet. Uh, the bait itself is the edge from Aquadynamics. Um, both the bottom bait and the pop up are flavoured in the same bait. So it's, it's nothing too complicated, it's nice and simple. And it catches a lot of fish, it certainly caught me a lot of fish. Give it a try. After that 34 common, I did one more night in the swim. 
Uh, nothing really seemed to happen. I had a couple of tench and there were a few fish moving in the area but I'm pretty sure most of them were tench. So I decided to move out of the bay and I dropped into this swim here uh, which is on, on more of a point and gives you access to the central part of the lake. It just for being on points when I'm not sure whether I'm on fish or not. At least I'm in a, a good passing area. Um, I think most of the fish are a little bit further up, probably a couple of swims up that way but it was quite pressured last night and I, I couldn't really get near them so I was just hoping the fish might push out and, uh, and move up this way. Um, the swans were proving a bit of a nightmare, they just kept battling all up and down this, this bank and disturbing everything completely but uh, yeah it's uh, still not catching a great deal but the weather has changed completely, there's a northerly wind moved in and it's got bitterly cold, it's completely different to the 21 degrees it was having at the start of the week. Um, but never mind, I'll be back down next week for another go. Thank you.